What's up, Madden community? MT Squared back with another Madden 23 Ultimate Team video. And today we added Denard Robinson and Keith Byers to the squad. Definitely very excited about those two cards. So Denard Robinson, not sure if he's going to stay on the squad, but I want to see what he does. And I know a lot of people have been doing gameplays with Robinson and using him only primarily as a running quarterback. But in this gameplay, we're going to see what he can do as a pocket passer. So I have Gunslinger, Pass Lead Elite, and Fearless Abilities on him. Uh, it is a total of 8 AP, so that is a lot of AP for a quarterback. We did also put Escape Artist on him in case if we could scramble uh, around for 10 plus yards. I think it's like three or four times or something like that. Uh, but this Denard Robinson card has 96 speed on the Steam Team, 96 throw power, 94 short accuracy, 94 medium, 95 deep, 91 throw under pressure, 96 throw under run, and 97 play action. Uh, he's also got 98 acceleration on the Steam Team, so that is pretty nuts. Um, and again, we're running those uh, Gunslinger, Pass Lead Elite, and Fearless Abilities. Pass Lead Elite for two ability points is pretty awesome. Um, you kind of have to choose between that Fast Break and that Human Joystick for only one ability point. Uh, so depending on if you want to run a lot, design runs, play action runs, or you know if you're just going to scramble outside in the pocket um, during a, a regular pass play, you got to decide what you want. But I like Pass Lead Elite and Set Feet Lead so that you get those um, the faster uh, or the increased throw power um, with the faster uh, bullet passes. All right, so uh, looking at Keith Byers, uh, so I'm using a couple abilities on him. He gets goal line back for zero AP, or you can put tank on him for one AP, or backfield master for two AP to get the uh, extra hot routes and improved catching from the backfield. The bruiser ability I uh, get for one AP in this bucket. That's more powerful truck and stiff arm animations. And then I've got the freight train X factor on him. Uh, Keith Byers has 96 speed, 94 acceleration, 95 agility, 92 carrying, 94 catch, 95 change of direction, 97 trucking, 95 break tackle. Uh, he is 238 pounds. He's actually a fullback listed as a, uh, a halfback in uh, in this promo. So that's pretty cool. So we're going to uh, play with him in this game as well. Uh, no other additions to the squad. I did do a, a lineup update last Saturday when I um, added some legends to the squad. If you guys have not checked out that video, definitely go ahead and do so. It highlights every card here on offense and on defense. I go through the stats of every player and the abilities that I use on them. Uh, so definitely check out that video. I will pin a, uh, a link to that video in the comment section down below. But let's get into this Denard Robinson and Keith Byer gameplay. All right, so here we've got some ghosts for a top three. Don't know if that's me or my opponent. And some more ghosts with Julius Peppers with Zero Chill logo. So you might have a Zero Chill team team. All right, we are rocking our Jaguars uniforms in um, light of us doing a Denard Robinson gameplay here. We're also doing, um, picked up Keith Byers, the new 96 overall Campus Heroes 2 card as well. So we'll see what these uh, two cards can do for us as he starts off with a nice little short pass. Looks like he likes his gun bunch. We're going to stick with uh, cover three. I have my curl flats in five yards and my hooks in 15s. And he threw another pass to Cup. We're going to switch this up to um, man coverage and put our two middle guys in uh, curl flats for five yards to protect against those, uh, those drag routes. I did shade over the top as well. Come on, pick that. Yes, let's go, Cromarty. That animation at the end was pretty sick. So we're going to start off with a run play here on first down. See if we can get anything, which we are not really gonna. I probably should have audibled out of that, but it is what it is there. It looks like he is sending some pressure. Uh, so we are probably just gonna show, uh, throw a short zig to either, um, actually this is gonna be perfect. All right. All right, so we are just gonna do a couple drag routes. I do have one deep, uh, two deep routes on this play. Uh, so we've got uh, Herman Moore going deep with Harrison and Gonzalez uh, on the short routes. And we will have Gonzalez open for the first down. All right, we are going to run it right up the gut here. And we do get some yards. Okay, we're going to do a little play action here. See if we can hit Harrison on this uh, deep route or more on the crosser. And we are not going to be able to. We'll just take the check down to Marshawn Lynch. All right. 
Definitely some nice throw on the run uh, from uh, from Denard Robinson. Like him when I see there. Obviously, his Reese is terribly slow, but uh, I couldn't even get that pass off. We are in a little bit of a hole here. Uh, we're going to see if we can hit Gonzalez on the corner route before we get the pressure to us. Uh, that is so frustrating. I had him open X for the corner route and was not able to get the pass off because my uh, because my game glitched, but it is what it is. So we have a couple corner routes we're gonna try to hit. Probably just gonna try to go for Herman Moore and see if we can get some, oh yes, let's go Herman Moore, yes. What a throw and catch, let's go. All right, here we are. Uh, gonna do the same thing, here. oh, he's got nothing open, right? Nothing open, nothing, he's gotta throw it away, nice. Took everything away, nice. All right, we're gonna switch it up to zone coverage. I have a feeling he's probably gonna uh, have a corner route on his tight end on the right. I think that might be Pete Metzelot. Oh, nice throw. Sometimes I feel like there's just no way to um, break that up. We're gonna send Peppers on the blitz. Oh, I let go of the running back. My bad. So I ran into his offensive, uh, his receiver, and could not recover to uh, to get over there. So it is what it is. I'm gonna do a little run to the outside with Byers, see if we can break some tackles. Second and eight, we're just looking for something short here. Um, I do need to kill the rest of this clock so he doesn't get another possession also. And we will have wide open on this little zig. Come on, get that first down. All right, we are gonna do the same exact play. I have two drag routes and the zig route. And I got the zig route wide open again. We're gonna see if we can run it up the middle here. Actually, I don't really like this uh, formation to run against. So we're gonna do levels, maybe able to get uh, Marvin Harrison on the zig route also. Oh, and that is where Elway would have definitely got that pass off, but it is what it is there. Uh, so we're doing a deep corner uh, to Herman Moore. I got Gonzalez as well on that deep route, but we are gonna go to Herman Moore, even though he's double covered. Uh, all right, we're gonna look to hit Gonzalez on this corner route. We've also got Herman Moore on his corner route as well. And we're gonna have Gonzalez. Oh yeah, you better catch that. We're just gonna do a run here, kill a little bit of clock, uh, see if we can get some yards with Keith Fires. And may have a hole. Yeah, let's go, all right. And we are just gonna run it right up the middle again. Ooh, no going nowhere. Third and two, really just looking to pick up this first down here. It looks like he is sending six. Uh, so we are gonna be looking for something quick and short. Better catch that. Oh my God, Herman Moore. Fourth and two, it's a game play. We're going for it. Um, again, just looking for something short here. Um, I might just go to Gonzalez because I do have short and elite on him. And if he's using on him, I'm having more faith in me, yes. I'm gonna do a play action here. And we're just gonna dump it off. I probably had O open on that, but. All right, winding down. Definitely probably should have used a timeout that last. All right, keep on going to the outside. So I'm gonna look at going to the inside this time with potentially uh, Gonzalez on the crosser. I do need the first down here too. He was in zone coverage last time. Yep, he is again, so we're gonna go to Johnson early, nice. But definitely no way that pass would have gotten there uh, if I did not have Pass League Elite and Gunslinger on him, so. Um, oh, that was a terrible pass. I got giddy when I saw him using that safety, which I didn't think he wanted to, and then he saw that corner route coming and it was game. It was uh, end of play. 
definitely unfortunate and disappointing after I drove down the field and had enough time for two plays to get that touchdown, but it is what it is. And he is taking his deep shot. All right, we are gonna start off with a little play action. And <laughs> unblocked, very nice. All right, looks, he is clearly sending six again. We're gonna have Tony Gonzalez wide open. Oh, I tried the rack catch, what was that? I cannot believe that Tony Gonzalez did not come down with that. That was wild. Um, come on, come down with that. Let's go, let's go more. You definitely need an extra blocker, although it looks like he's got cover one man this time. Get underneath, get underneath that. Break a tackle, come on more. So 13 out of 18 for, I forget if it was like 140 or 150 yards for uh, Denard Robinson. Not too bad. Um, we're not getting too much penetration with Keith Byers though. Second and nine. He has definitely got cover one man again. Oh, he's got zone that time. Holding onto that ball slightly makes up for that drop that you had earlier. And he is, uh, looks like he is sending six again. All right. Get that off. Nice catch, Harrison. Let's go. Hold on to the ball. I'm going to try a little play action, see if we can get Gonzalez over um, the middle there. If not, we got Keith Perry as our utility. And we will have Gonzalez. Very nice. First down. We are gonna not try to design run with those two middle linebackers. Uh, so we got short passes, uh, drag routes, and the zig for Harrison. And Harrison's gonna be wide open. Get the touchdown, Harrison. Let's go! All right, we're playing man, shitting over the top. Oh, he's got him wide open. Oh, nice, nice, nice pressure. I didn't even see who that was, um, who got the pressure, but I will take that for sure. We had a couple people open that got off their, uh, their breaks early. I'm actually going to shade to the inside because he does not seem to be too many, too many out routes. And there's nothing open. We are going to switch to zone coverage here. I'm going to do underneath. I do have my hard flats in 10. So Bo Jackson should be in a, I mean in 20s um, to protect against the corner route. Come on, pick that, pick that. Let's go a lot. All right, we are going back to the same thing here. I have my hard flats in 20s and my hooks in 15s. Hoping to get some pressure here from our defensive line. Pick that. Let's go, Bo Jackson. Take that to the house. Maybe not. All right, we have a couple drag routes and a couple deep routes. And we're just gonna dump it off to Byers, although that's a negative play. All right, second and 14, we are obviously going for the first down here, potentially a touchdown. I'm uh, gonna see if we can maybe hit Herman Moore or oh, we're definitely gonna have Herman Moore. Yes, get that, let's go, nice pass, Denard. So usually at this stage in the game, when I'm up by um, two touchdowns, I do uh, switch Peppers and Bo Jackson at safety and uh, the uh, sub linebacker. Um, so Peppers is one of my deep safeties uh, in a two uh, in a two deep man. To switch up our defense. I'm going to go back to zone coverage. Come on, get him. All right, we're 
we're gonna go to man coverage, uh, cover one. So I'm gonna use her the middle again, since that's where he was tearing me up before. Ah, oh, nice play from <laughs> Brady with the scramble. All right, I had to switch up my um, zone, my zone, so I switched to, uh, so I called the timeout so I could do that. So I have my, I'm in cover two right now. We're in five yards for both our hooks and our hard flats. Ah, oh, nice throw. All right, he for sure thinks I am running it. So I am definitely uh, going to be passing it here. Um, we've got Delaney Walker on a deep uh, corner, Herman Moore on a crosser, and then I've uh, also got a backup over here. And we are, oh, he ran commit, nice. That's going to be a touchdown and a game ender. Let's go. <laughs> Four touchdowns and 300 yards for um, uh, for Denard Robinson. So having a very nice game. Had that one interception. That was definitely my fault. That change of direction from Bo Jackson is sick. We are back to man here, shading over the top. That's all right. Nice throw. Nice catch. Nothing. We're going to switch to zone coverage here. Nothing. Nice coverage. I think I took away his primary read with Cromarty, so that was definitely a, uh, a big bonus. Pick that! Ah, oh, all right. Fourth and ten. We are in man coverage here, shading to the inside. That last play was one of the few plays that he's done where he's uh, gone to the outside. Break that up, nice. And our opponent has quit. And that was our Denard Robinson and Keith Byers gameplay. Not too much from Keith Byers, but Denard Robinson had four touchdown throws and over 300 passing yards. So I know a lot of people have been doing gameplays with Denard Robinson with um, RPOs and running the ball a lot with him. And yes, that can be fun. I personally, that's just not my play style. It does not work out well for me. I haven't practiced it a lot. Um, so I wanted to show you guys what Denard Robinson would look like as a pocket passer. And yes, his re release is definitely much noticeably slower than the uh, top tier level quarterbacks, especially if you're used to using Elway or uh, Aaron Rodgers, or even like the generic three release with Randall Cunningham and some of those other top ones, uh, traditional two for um, Drew Bledsoe. Um, but uh, if you put Gunslinger and Pass Lead Elite on him, it definitely makes a difference. I mean, he definitely has a wind up. You can see the wind up literally um, happening. Uh, and there were definitely some throws that LA would have made if uh, if I had him in the game over Robinson. But overall, I mean, you're looking at a 450,000 coin quarterback or a three and a half million coin quarterback. So um, plus he's very fast. And if you do like to run the ball, then it does give you some options. I was able to use him for play action and roll out of the pocket uh, because of his speed and had some nice throws. So that worked out well too. But uh, that is it for today's video, guys. I hope you did enjoy the video. And if you did, drop a like and make sure you're subbed to my channel so you can see my daily videos. And thank you for watching this video.